Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Check out all of our Sea of Moto videos. Even check out our golf cart build video. That thing turned out really sweet. I have every video from start to finish. You just have to go search the channel and find them. I have over 520 videos and in counting. So I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode of the wrecked Z Force 800 EX. We are going to start adding the accessories and, and all of that stuff. So today's episode is mirrors. Ronnie found these really cool mirrors. They're orange. They match the side by side. And what did you pay for them? 50 bucks? Under, under, under 50 bucks on eBay. So we're going to check these out. He also bought me a set for mine. Wasn't that nice of him? So we're going to check these out and see what they look like. Maybe we'll like them. Maybe you'll like them. Maybe none of us will like them. We don't know. We're going to put them on and see. So we're going to start by removing the factory mirrors. We are going to leave the factory mirror mount because you can mount nice things here such as light pods. But to remove these mirrors, you're going to need a 3 16 Allen key. I picked up this set at Harbor Freight. Been great to me. Okay, now that we got those removed, we're going to mount the new ones that he had purchased up here. Because he's going to get a half windshield, so they need to be mounted up here. So guys, these mirrors are from eBay. I will find a link and have a link down in the description to these. They look nice. We're going to get them both on and see. You're going to want to find this piece and the two rubbers because it's going to take both rubbers to get this thing mounted on here the way that it needs to be and we're going to put it just right in there Now guys, it's gonna come with this block. This block we found that it's not needed. I think we think it's just an extension. We don't need it for the Z Force. So toss that in your box, save it for another project. You never know when you need stuff like that, right, Ronnie? Right. Never know. So all you need is this piece and these two rubbers. And you can pull this screw right here. Pull it out just a little bit, pull this out and it will swivel, get it positioned to where you like. Once you get it in a roundabout position, it does have a swivel ball right here that's very stiff actually. So you got to play with it and get it to move. It will move all around. So we're going to go ahead and put our screws in there. Well, let me get these both in here.
So guys, once you get those two bolts tightened up in there, this thing will move all around. We're gonna get the other one installed, then we're gonna sit back and take a peek at them, take a gander at them, and see, see how we like them. So ladies and gentlemen, I think those things, I like them. Kind of makes it look like an orange mousse. Just a little bit. Uh, Ronnie here says, I didn't see for myself, but he says, uh, you can see a lot behind you. I can see, I can read Roxy here. And I can, I can actually see the front of your truck. He can see the front of my truck. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's way back there in the street. On the passenger side. And then he can read Roxy over here. And then some. So, that's not bad. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I will have a link in the description. Because we're kind of liking these. Yes, they are a bright orange. They do come in different colors. Gray, blue, black, and orange. Plus, whatever color you get, you can always paint it. You can paint it whatever color that you want with some uh, Plasti Dip or anything. Even though they're brighter orange, they do still match this orange. Keep in mind, this has SC Nasty 1 all over it. I hate SC1. Y'all were wondering what it does. This is what it does. Makes your side-by-side -side feel greasy, look greasy, and it just collects all this fine dust. Makes it look like crap. It makes it shiny, but it also dulls it down. I hate SC1 with a passion. And that's what's all over that thing. It's nasty stuff. Well, for instance, I'll show you this one, and I'll show you my wife's. You see how dull that orange was? Look how shiny this blue is. This is the difference between SC1 and actually waxing your stuff. Yeah. But anyway, guys... We got a set of these for mine, and I'll be getting them on before the meet and ride in two weeks. So guys, let me know what you'd like to see for this 800EX build. It needs a lot of work, guys, but we're trying to just get it on the trails for now, and we're going to work on it periodically through the weeks and through the winter. It needs every bushing, pretty much. The bushings in the front end are kind of toast. The, the wheels cockeyed um, it needs one wheel bearing in the back it needs the the fluids gone over it needs a lot of stuff and we're gonna be working on it we're gonna be building on it we're gonna be fixing on it and this is the perfect opportunity to get some of those videos out to show you guys how to work on and maintain your vehicle I personally don't think this vehicle was beat on. I just don't think it was too cared for. They didn't grease anything. They didn't wash it. It only has 800 miles on it, but 800 miles in my hands or 800 miles in somebody who doesn't care about their machine's hands, those are two different 800 miles. So definitely stick around to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We just recently hit 5K subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for that. We're actually over 5K now. Thank you guys for watching this stuff and being a part of the team and just helping me do this stuff and, and help you guys learn and just maintain your machine. I think we got a good deal on this for 5900 bucks. He bought it. It's his. My cousin's. But we are helping him get it on the road and in the trails. So the goal for now, and we have boxes of stuff. Boxes of stuff for this thing. And more stuff coming. And more stuff coming. There's boxes there. Boxes there. Big box here. A big box sitting there. And a big box sitting there. We have doors, we have lights, we got stereo stuff. We got stereo coming from Main Street Cycle. Can't wait to see that one. That one should be here in a couple days. So like I said, the goal is 
getting out on the trails enjoying the summer come winter time we can work on this thing we can do all kinds of videos because you guys know I need videos for winter so I have tons of videos planned for the winter time I'm gonna try my best I'm saving up some money to do the EX conversion on my wife's trail I already have everything but axles brake lines and shocks everything else I already have everything for that we already have except for the bushings it, it's going to need bushings all the way around it the a the tabs on the a frame a arms the bolts come loose they wall it out we're going to be fixing those i did tighten them so it is safe to drive but that tire is is all cattywampus and we'll fix it just stay tuned to the channel we're going to put out some good content guys peace out and god bless smash that like button thank you guys for watching